one. Hey guys, Casey and Jax here. We did. And we're with John Bronco this time. Hello, hello. Back for one of our hangouts again. We just finished filming another video right here, literally on the red chair. Um, we're right here in Las Vegas. You want to tell them your social media handle? Yes, Instagram, Johnny underscore Bronco87. On Twitter, I'm John Bronco87. And OnlyFans, John Bronco87. And of course, we'll put his link. Do you have a link tree? I uh, don't. Well, we'll put the links. He'll, his links will be listed below, as always, so you can go search John out and follow him. Do you go by John or Johnny? Doesn't matter. Both. Both. Doesn't matter. There's question number one. Um, we've actually, how many times have we filmed now? This is our third time filming together. Third time. We have just wow. had naturally good chemistry. It's all been good. <laughs> um, back when you first started with us, when John started with us, he was new new. Yeah. Like uh, it was a non-full penetration scene. Yeah, we very just, conservative. What did we do? We just did uh, massages? Yeah, and it was actually really hot. <laughs> Yeah, it's I fine. was, you know, I was actually super shocked with you. Really? Be well, because it's true. you can't, I, I knew coming in that you hadn't filmed Sex Scene with Guys yet. Yeah. And I knew we were just doing massages, so I was super, like, oh, cautious. Because I, I was like, oh, I'm not trying well, to push we never boundaries. done scenes with, with straight guys. Oh, that's yeah. right. You're the oh, first you're straight the first, guy, too. So I'm like, how is that first time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was super, uh, like, precautious because I didn't want to push any yeah, boundaries yeah, that you I were comfortable that. with. Yeah. And then you just like went for it. <laughs> it was so good. I thought that made it easier though. You know? No, I was impressed. Yeah. That was a uh, back. I don't think anyone complained. <laughs> no, no <laughs> one was complaining. That was in San Diego when we did that. Um, in the summer, right? Yeah, so I don't know. How's it been since you started filming? How long have you been, been filming with guys and stuff? Uh, I guess I started back in March or April with Austin Wolf and then you, I think, no, Case Jock and you. So I've been doing it now. So now I feel pretty comfortable and I'm able to do everything. I pretty much don't have limits, but I prefer to stick to the stuff that I like doing, like writing and stuff like that. I like the power bottom, I guess. I well love as, it. Yeah. Hey, you're good at it. <laughs> thanks, thanks. That, well, last time was your first time topping oh, yeah. John. Yeah, yeah. And this time was my first time topping John. Um, yeah, so we've we've all kind of been switching off yeah. back and forth. Do you get a lot of uh, hard time from people saying that you're not straight or whatever? Nah, um, not now because well maybe I do and I just don't pay attention. But now I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like, no, that because, that is, so. That's good. I I've had a few people ask with you too, and I'm like, no, you're straight. Yeah, you just films. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, so he is straight, guys. Just so you know. <laughs> Yeah, I get. I guess that you, that you define yourself as straight. <laughs> yes, I define yes. myself as straight. Define yourself as straight. It doesn't mean I can't enjoy my scenes. It's just that I have no desire to pursue any relationship with any man. It's just not what I enjoy. He does have a girlfriend, just so you know. Oh, she's right over there doing her makeup. She's here too. She's, <laughs> she's a trooper. <laughs> <laughs> well, she did have. She's a little, just off scene. She, she did have a little participation in this. Uh, on this. Last scene. Oh, that's yeah. right. So she yeah. was in the video. So just a little stay bit. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> did play you did you play with uh, toys and do anal and stuff before filming, or yeah. was that? So I've actually done that since I started masturbating. Actually, really, I've always played with my butt ever since I started masturbating about 14, 15 and I've always just stuck it up there. I've always I just researched how to get better orgasms and stuff like that, and prostate play was up there, and I said no. Oh, Oh, that's so that. cool! That's, I had no idea. That, yeah. That's new news to me. Mm -hmm. I I don't think I even mentally thought to do anything like that until I was older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was fifteen, sixteen. Well, I think in, in high school the only thing I did was I take the shower head and I knew it felt good to oh. turn it upside down <laughs> while I was jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> but I never was brave enough to look anything up. I think that's awesome. Wow, I, I didn't do that either. I get sex draft too, because like I did cross country and stuff, and I swear when you go for like long runs, when you come back and you like shower off, like 
You just blow out all those endorphins, and all you want to do is bust the nuts. I believe it. That just gave me that extra motivation and stuff like that. It had you all horny yeah. <laughs> and looking for ways to enjoy it. That's nice. awesome. When? How did you buy your first toy then? Were you embarrassed or anything? No, I did it online. Yeah. I just bought a prostate massager. I think it's called Aneros. I'm not going to say it. Aneros. A N. E R O S, I think. A narrows? I don't know. It's what does it look like? It's like a, it's like a little teeny. Like a hook? Yeah. Yeah, like a vibrator. And you can you control vibrate? it. Does, it's manual. You oh, have okay. to like kegel and like. Oh okay. It like it as you settings. kegel, it'll as you squeeze your prostate, it'll like it'll, wow. it'll move for you. Yeah. All right. Wow. Learning something new. But it's okay. a nice little toy. Yeah. Did Did you try playing with toys and stuff? Anal way before, yeah. Because you, I mean, you were with girls and stuff in high school. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did it after high school, because you know, I, back in my day, you couldn't buy anything online yet. <laughs> you had that, to actually that go didn't, somewhere. That wasn't yeah. So like, if you don't, if you wanted to get a toy, you had to like go somewhere and buy it. It was like you know, so that people like Hondas would be like, oh. <laughs> so, it wasn't so easy. So you really, really, really needed to want to do it <laughs> to go get that stuff because you couldn't buy stuff necessarily online. I was just too afraid to go so, look anything. Like I, I was in the side of I'm gonna get caught looking things yeah. up. <laughs> I mean, once obviously, like once I started living on my own, they, I didn't care. And I started buying stuff, but you know, when I was like a kid living with my parents, like I couldn't order anything on, online because if I did. It will get home, and everyone's like, "Why are you getting mail? What is this?" Oh, so I was sure. like, "So I don't think I could actually get away with it's my dildo, mom." <laughs> so yeah, I didn't really do anything until until I basically moved out of the house. College, basically, that's when I started. So what what made you decide to start doing OnlyFans? Um, I just you know the pandemic and things like that. I just didn't have anything else going on, and. Uh... Uh, I just decided to just go for it. I had some encouragement from some of my followers, actually. And, On uh, what, Instagram? Mm -hmm. I, I've got a guy that encouraged me to do it, and I just said, you know what, hell with it, I'll give it a shot. I feel like by, by then, it had become pretty commonplace yeah. that people knew somebody that was doing it. It wasn't so, so taboo anymore by the time the pandemic was hitting. Yeah. And actually, Peaches has a... Uh, has a friend that was making good money off of it. That's how a I- A girl or a guy? It was a girl. A girl? That's how I learned about it. I was like, well, shit, she can make money off this. I know I can make money off this too, so. <laughs> oh, that's, cool. that's pretty cool. You yeah, guys actually yeah. had a friend. Yeah. Oh, cool. That was already doing it. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder, how, I wonder how many people that actually happened to, that their friends started or something, and then they're like, I want yeah, to do it. Well, well, I know that we were the first in our friends. <laughs> <laughs> did you get a lot of people that joined after you guys did? Uh, I don't know if anyone directly, I, I have no idea, no like immediately, immediate close friends did, but who knows. Like, did some, you lose friends when you started? Yeah, back when we first started, people, it was like, I started five years ago. Oh, so wax so, day day. And it was in Utah that I started. So only a few major porn stars, I mean, probably like Austin Wolf type people yeah. were even on it and... Yeah, the community was definitely scandalized by us doing porn. Pioneers. <laughs> well, we weren't even doing. We weren't porn even at the time. collabing with It was, with it other was more of the naked hikes and stuff like that, and people were pretty like, "Oh my god, you're doing that." Yeah, somebody in the Utah community blackmailed my entire family within what? the first three months of it. No. Yeah, messaged my That's parents insane. like snapshots of my content and stuff. Shit like that doesn't happen anymore though, right? I, mean, no. I don't think so. Yeah, no, it, and that's what I mean. Like it was taboo enough in the community and someone was bad intention enough in the small community. That's when they that, could get away with something like that. Yeah, right? that they actually found my family and sent it that's to That's insane. Them. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. But I feel like it's super chill now. Yeah. yeah. Most people, like they hear OnlyFans, it's not the, oh my God, secret mm -hmm. anymore. It's like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Mine was when I did the, the John Cody solo. Remember? Oh, he did Sean Cody first. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I did a Sean Cody solo, and then I didn't even, they didn't even tell me when it was going to get released because I did it, and then nothing happened for several months. I was like, nothing's happening. And then we were eating at uh, the Cheesecake Factory, remember? It was I a do. Sunday. We were with some friends, and all of a sudden I started getting bombarded. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know you did Sean Cody. Like, everyone was just like messaging me, like, I, I guess the cat's out of the bag. Oh, <laughs> we, we were fairly new because that was before me. 
Yeah. Oh. So this is like nine years ago. Yeah, this is a long time ago. Um, and I was even getting messages too. We're sitting at the table. Do you know your boyfriend's doing porn? <laughs> <laughs> it was a solo. Jesus, it's not like I was like in an orgy yeah, or something. People, I was like, people I literally so jerked off and was like, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing that, Mark. They, they paid me five grand. Was and I was gonna say no. <laughs> it was back in the day when they actually paid you. So what, what, had, what was your process of going from when we first met and you were just getting into like doing massage type porn and stuff. Like what was your process? Like how long did it take you to move from just touching to full penetration? Well, not long at all really. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you turned around pretty quick. Yeah. Um, once I got like more comfortable, like just with the touching and stuff like that. So. Were you just nervous with guys or Yeah, what? I was nervous I was gonna get hurt. <laughs> oh, like yeah. physically actually injured. Because when I use my dildos, I'm in complete control. So I was worried like, and I also, you know, basically just didn't want to get hurt and things yeah. of that sort. And I didn't know how I was gonna feel versus a dildo and stuff like that. Do you, do you like toys, like dildos and stuff? Yeah, I like, I like dildos, but I prefer my prostate massager. Is my favorite. my first toy that I ever bought is still my favorite toy. It's still the favorite. It's still the favorite, absolutely. Right. I go in the tub with it and just relax, turn all the lights off, and just enjoy it. I think if a lot more straight guys were secure in themselves, they would like it. Yeah. Just Well, just like with even the gay community, there's plenty of guys that hate it and love it. Yeah. Just like why why are some people adamantly bottoms and adamantly tops? I think the straight guys would be the same. Yeah. Some some would find they love it and it doesn't make them gay. I think that it's happening a lot more now. I'm starting to see that more. Do you, more fluid, yeah. You think that's happening more in the straight side of things? Well, I think it's becoming uh, more uh, acceptable. More more acceptable, so people are being honest about it now. I think it's uh, always okay. occurred. It's just, they weren't honest. People were already figuring that out. They yeah. just didn't want to admit it. Yeah. What about like rimming and stuff? Did rimming, that... I've always enjoyed rimming. Uh, ah, yeah. um, I started that like when I was 22 though. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed that when I was like... When, what made you decide to try that? Were you, were you like hesitant to do it? Well, it was before I met Peaches. So there was another woman who was just, uh, it was actually a woman who just did it on me. And I didn't, I didn't ask for it or anything. They just kind of did it. Did it weird you out at first? Nah, I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've liked it from the start. So <laughs> I've always wondered, cause sometimes I do hear like girlfriends and stuff will be like, oh yeah. <laughs> My, my guy won't admit it to anybody, but he likes it. I've heard that a lot too, yeah. <laughs> but I think one of her friends is like, she's like, her, her guy's like very much into into it. A lot. Oh, really? Yeah. I think yeah. a lot. Like, what? Hey, I just think if it feels good, it feels good. Yeah, exactly. I, I think it needs to not be so gay or straight. You can be straight and still like, or do they just feminize it? That's the problem. Yeah. That's the issue. Stop feminizing gay males in general, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. some of the gay males that I've met are more masculine than my straight friends, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they, they're acting more masculine than even the straight guys. Yeah. Well, I, I think actually that, that hits it pretty young. That's what people are actually worried about is that they're going to be viewed as feminine. Yeah, or just weak, you know? Then it's I not weak. Guys. I think that's a problem. I've always said that. I think the bot, the person that's bottoming is actually more in control of the situation than anybody else. Yeah, exactly. Because they, sh if they shut it down, it's not happening. It's over. Yeah. I, I think there, it's a lot of a control feeling when you're being the bottom. Exactly. You can be a dominant bottom too. Yeah. <laughs> Ride it hard. <laughs> anyway, um, well, yeah. Else? If you guys should check out. The latest video here in Vegas, um, it's between kind of three of us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys should check it out. It's on our. It'll be on our fan pages soon. I'm pretty sure the YouTube will probably get out first. We'll see. Um, yeah, and then check out uh, John Bronco's pages. All the links will be listed for all of us. Um, yeah, and if you have any more questions for him, leave them below. This will not be. The last collab, I'm sure. Yeah, send us your questions. <laughs> Let us know what you want to know. And I will, you know I will say this publicly. John's one of our favorites to work with. Yes. These are my guys. Always yeah. easy from the easy. first time. Even when you weren't doing full penetration, <laughs> it's been good collabs every time. We've yeah. loved it. Absolutely. Good vibes for sure. All right, guys. We're gonna catch you next time on the next hangout.
Later.